Hey everybody, welcome to another Star Wars action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 30th anniversary collection figure. Now I got this figure off of Amazon, and that is this guy. This is Hermi Oro. Sorry about the glare, let me just see. See, sir, here? Hermi Oro. He is from Jabba's Palace, Return of the Jedi. Uh, before we take a look at the figure, as always, we're going to look at the packaging. We do have a cool image here of Hermione, as you can see. The bubble, something to take note of. The bubble is really, really big. Something you normally don't see. It's like, I want to say four inches, because the figure is huge. It's cool. The 30th anniversary logo up top. Here you do have a picture of the figure. You do have a description. Which if you like, you could pause it and read it. Uh, you do have a movie still of Hermione as well as his character profile which if you want to pause that you can also look at that too and here's some more 30th anniversary collection figures see some of the more rare figures like uh, Darth Revan and uh, Darth Malak which I've been dying to get those but they're just way too expensive <clears throat> excuse me also want to get Umpis Day and I do own the C-3PO Salacious Chrome which is pretty hard to find nowadays, so I'm happy I have that. But yeah, let's just take a look at uh, one of the accessories he comes with. He comes with this coin. It says it's the 30th anniversary collection. You can see right here you have a picture of Hermione. Odo. Sorry about the light. It's hard to see. Yeah, on the back, you do have, uh, I think, like, this is Jabba's, like, symbol, Jabba the Hutt. I don't know. This is tattooed on his arm. So yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the figure now. Now this figure is huge. See right there. See he's just a ginormous figure. Like I said before. Now just bear with me for a second so I can get a regular figure and show you the size difference. Alright. Uh... As you can see right here, I have uh, the new vintage Imperial, uh, Imperi yeah, an Imperial uh, Royal Guard. So you can see right here. So the figure's the same height, more or less, but its real size is in thickness. So you can see right here. It's just a huge figure, it's like very bulky. So it's very cool. You do get your money's worth with this figure in terms of plastic. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a review on this figure, but I don't know, I guess stay tuned for that, because I did buy him on eBay, and he didn't come with those extra, like, expanded universe accessories, so I'm not sure. If I find another one, I will do a review on it. But yeah, let's talk about the figure we're reviewing now. His only weapon is this type of, uh, fibro staff. I'm not sure. Let me just take it off his arm, so you get a better look at it. Oh, and he does grab onto his weapons pretty good, so you don't have to worry about it falling off, as you can see. Holding onto it pretty tight, you didn't want to let it go. But yeah, this has some pretty good details, especially for the 30th anniversary collection. Has some good molding. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what this is. This doesn't look like the skiff guard staffs. I do believe it's this. Uh, it says it right here. Uh, stun weapon. I guess this is like a, I guess it's called the Vibro Axe, not a skiff staff. I don't know. If you want to leave a comment, you can. Yeah, aside from that, he doesn't come with any other accessories. Um, as you can see, he does have soft goods, which is a lot, which is pretty good because you get to like, cover him up. You see it has some damage here, a little tear and stuff. It's not removable, and neither is this the scarf that goes around, but it's very nice. You know, I like the brown and green. The earth tones really accent accent each other. He has some good details, especially on his head, as you can see right here. Some pretty good details, especially in the tongue. Um, the figure, although it can't take the hood off, there's some very good details on the back of him. So you can see like these like I don't know what these are really called, like vertebrae. And um, it's a very huge figure. See very good details. See right there. Let's turn around and fix his cape. You 
You see? He has very big feet and he does stand very well. I mean, I don't even think this figure could fall during an earthquake. <laughs> I live in Miami, so don't really have to worry about that anyway. But yeah, this is a very cool figure. Um, his hands are done nicely. There's some good molding. The bone structure is really cool. You know, it only has four fingers. You see good paint applications on the nails, like his ribs or whatever this is on the side. Pretty done, pretty good. As well as the shorts and you know some good sculpting here for his feet, which are rather large. Um, in terms of articulation, he has a swivel head. Let's see right here. And he does have articulation in the mouth. You can open and close his mouth. Which doesn't... I mean, it stays, but I wouldn't mess with it too much because it could probably, like, get loose and, like, be open all the time. So I'm saying take note of. He has ball hinge shoulders with huge hinges. I mean, you could see these a mile away. But the cloak does cover it, almost all of it. So it's not much, too much to complain about. He has swivel wrists, um, no elbow articulation, which is a bit unfortunate. I know it's a big figure, but you kind of do want that added um, articulation. But yeah, he has a swivel wrist, he has a swivel waist, swivel hips, no knee articulation, no ankle articulation. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, he has ball hinged ankles. But yeah, no knee, knee or elbow articulation. The knees I can kind of overlook, you know, I don't really plan on seating, like I didn't plan on seating this figure. It's just the elbows I wish I would have had, but, you know, this is a 30th anniversary collection figure, I mean, a lot of the figures during that time didn't have articula articulation sorry to begin with so yeah it's pretty good and as you can see hold this weapon really well no problems there and uh, he does hold his um, cape pretty well at least that's the way I have him posed I think it looks pretty cool see right here. so yeah I hope you found this review helpful I'll be doing many more soon I'll probably be doing a lot more of uh, Jabba's palace goons uh, because I do plan on making a diorama. I did recently buy the Jabba the Hutt, um, the throne, the 2010 Walmart exclusive. So when I get that in the mail, I'll probably be doing a review on it to give you a look at it so I can set my own diorama. So yeah, like I said, we found this review helpful. So I'll see you on the next video.